guys hey welcome back to another vloggy vlog with your girl i'm erica guys if you are new and welcome to my channel and if you guys are my returning friends hey friends hey so we're gonna jump right into this video guys i am doing my spice drawer i'm so excited i've had my spice jars for a while i'm finally being able to put it together your girl gotta go to work today so i'm gonna try to hurry up and get this done y'all i'm gonna just show you guys real quick what i'm doing and i'll be back on here once i'm done Hey guys, so today y'all is Vlogmas day two. I am getting ready for work, hence the monkey suit. <laughs> you guys, I got on my outfit for work, my uniform. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed me doing my spices this morning. I love it, I love my spice drawer. It looks so good. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you like it? Um, how did it turn out? I really like it. So now I just got to get some more spices to put in there. Sorry about that fan, y'all. That's why I don't really film too much in the bathroom because of that fan. 
but yeah I'm just getting ready for work y'all <sighs> and then I gotta work till 8 o'clock so I gotta go to the store when I get off work and get something for dinner I got a few stores to stop into I need to get paper towels and things like that on my way home so we're gonna do that and uh, I'll be back on here once once I get off work I don't know if y'all can see me I'm sorry how rude Y'all, I wanted to do my nails today. You know, we got that um, UV light um, situation that you can do your nails and kind of like what they have at the nail shop. I think I showed you guys that already. So, I really want to do that. I wanted to do it today, but I'm not going to have time um, to do that because we're going to go to work. I'm not going to have time. Good. Straight to the point, y'all. A little gloss. Y'all remember these glosses? These really just, I'm talking about, they shine your lips. Okay. Put my hair up. Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera on when I get off work. <sighs> like I said, I get off at eight, if not earlier. Sometimes um, I'm able to leave a little early. Can't see. Y'all, let's go up here and look at my rack. I mean, not rack, spice cabinet it's kind of dark in that hallway let me show you guys i'm so excited about how it turned out it's dark in here let me show you guys i'm so excited about my oh i need to go back in there and, and gel down my edges hold on let me show y'all oh look at her is she not pretty y'all See, I got some room out over here to put more. So once I get some more spices, I'm going to put them in this cabinet too, in this drawer too. But I love it, y'all. I think it turned out so pretty. Yes, I am so, <laughs> I am so excited about that. It looks so good it looks so good y'all had me a hot chocolate this morning instead of coffee but yeah it was good too it was good too so yeah i'll be back on here y'all when your girl get off work So guys, look, I'm um I'm in the kitchen cooking, and I just thought about it. I wanted to ask you guys, what are you guys doing with your leftovers from Thanksgiving? Like, do you guys save any part of your dinner for another day to create another dinner? So what we did um is with our turkey. Now you know how you find a little banquet pie pies in the store. You have chicken, turkey, beef. My favorite is turkey. So I was like, oh, my husband was like, why don't we just make a turkey pie pie? And I was like, that would be good. So what I did was we cut up the turkey, you know, chopped it up, and we saved some more for another day. All you got to do is refrigerate um, your meat. I mean, freeze your meat. Cut it up and put it in some Ziploc freezer bags, and you can use it on a later date. Babe, how long do, um, oh, yeah, babe, babe is in the kitchen with me, y'all. How long can you freeze, you think you could freeze your meat for without? I don't know. I'll pull it up. But gonna I check your feet. As long as it's sealed up, it doesn't get freezer burn, you know. But say like in a few weeks, a couple home, of weeks, yeah. it should be okay. I mean, within a month, about three weeks or so. 
I don't know if I would, I don't know about later, but I know I'm gonna make another one because I have a little bit left. And we did our ham like that too. We, we, we cut up the extra ham that was left, put it in the freezer for another day for like sandwiches and stuff like that. And some people do like macaroni and cheese with ham in it, like a like a yes. casserole type thing. So you can be creative with your food, especially your meat when Thanksgiving is over if everybody didn't eat it. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. We've already mixed it up. I should have did that on camera with you guys, but I thought about it at the last minute. But you know, you make your, your roux and then you put your vegetables in it and then you um what else put your chopped meat in it and then stir it up. So you know that's what you can pour into your pie crust. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm getting my hubby to help me, y'all, because my arm, my wrist still be hurting, and I can't really, um, I can't really do that. But this is how it look, baby, waving at y'all. Hello, everybody. This is how it look, y'all. And that macaroni that. and cheese and ham thing. She said, "Yes, I love that." Being a kid, that used to be, oh man, like a meal. Top tier. Yeah. So yeah. That's how that looked though. And you can make, you can have it as thick as you like, as creamy, runny as you like. You know, just make it to your, your consistencies. And so Bay is putting it in the pie. Oh, you can make your own pie crust too. That is real easy to do. But I didn't feel like doing all that. You know, it doesn't take long, but I just don't feel like doing the different steps and all that so we just bought our pie crusts and we also bought the um topping the top part which is nothing but the rollout crust pie crust and we use the deep dish you know pie crust so these right here come in handy so you can make we're making two um pie pies so and then after they get them in there, we're going to roll out. It comes in a pack of two. So we're going to roll out this on top. Smush it, you know, do your little finger things around the side to connect the two. And then put like four slits at the top and then put it in the oven. But you know how long it's supposed to cook or bake? However long the crust take, right? Yeah. Because your, 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 your pie filling is already done. The meat is already done. You cooked your vegetables on the um, stove, mixed it all up. So you're really doing nothing but cooking your dough, cooking your um, crust. So yeah. Y'all let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys do if you do anything with your leftovers from Thanksgiving? And um, I'll come back on here and show you guys what our pies are looking like once they get done. Let me show you guys what they doing though right now. Hold on. See? That looks so good. It looks so yummy, y'all. Look at that. And right here, he just putting the rest of it in here. And then I'm gonna come back on here and show you guys it when it's done. Look, y'all. This is how it looks. And I actually have one more in the oven there's the other one so that's how it look and i'm gonna show you guys what it look like when your girl get it out okay y'all look how they look they look so good and they smell so good. I cannot wait to eat it. Heritage. Y'all look at this. Flaky crust. I'm about to tear this up. Why is that situation? 